I mean, they didn't say this was the final battle. Manx, it begins. The final battle. Okay, never mind. From a philosophical standpoint, do you think that there should always be commentary, or do you, or do you think there, there's like an allowance for silence, basically? Do you think there always needs to be a filler for the silence? I think that the best sort of commentating is when there's always some noise in the background. I mean, if you watch a sport like wrestling... <laughs> if you Skype it with me, there is always some noise in the background, so that's good. Yeah, but that's the wrong kind of noise. So, uh, <laughs> besides, when we're on Discord, I can't hear it because your microphone only activates when you speak. So... That's true. But yeah, I think that if you, if you look at like the success of commentary, like in football or sports, you notice that the announcers are very seldom quiet. They're trained to always speak. And I think this is because it's more enjoyable to watch something when you get constant stimulation by either the yeah. ears or the eyes. So I think that having something to always say, even if it's something that's not necessarily very interesting, is probably a smart move. And yeah, I think I, I think I disagree. It's not that I don't think that like... Uh, ideally, I would have good commentary that's always talking, that always has something to say. But for example, Pokemon streams mm -hmm. um, have like they have people with, who are instructed to always say something, but it's very clear that they don't always have something to say and are often, while they're talking, looking for something to say, and it's really awkward and really annoying. So I kind of wish that until they were capable of filling the air with interesting commentary, they just be fine with being quiet, but that's not the case. Yeah, I, I do agree. I watched Hearthstone stream the other day, and it was very clear that the people had nothing to talk about, because it's like, yeah, that's a very nice card. Uh, I really like that card. That card is... Uh, it's really strong. Lots of people play it. Very cool. Very cool opener, yeah. that He played that, that card that everyone else plays. That's uh, it's a nice play. Yes, and uh, it's yeah. It's funny, because that kind of commentary <laughs> isn't actually so bad from like uh, an idea perspective. Like It's good to talk about off uses cards, because it gets newer players familiar with the cards. Yeah, but it was the way they were talking. the Pokemon stream do. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was just the way they said it that made it... They were so yeah. uncomfortable when they said it. It's like, oh, fuck, we gotta fill this. You're not saying yeah. anything. Okay, I'm gonna say something. So, But yeah, like, filling... Filling a dead time with bullshit is something, like, if there's something I am good at, you know, sure, and it might not be Fire Emblem, if there's something I'm really good at, it's always <laughs> filling empty space with some sort true. of bullshit. And I think it's just, when you let's play a lot, you learn to just think of things to talk about. Sometimes that can be a bit unfortunate, like the one time where I went on a tirade talking about blowjobs in Fire Emblem 8, and a lot of people didn't like that. So sometimes that can really backfire. But, you know, once you just... Sometimes it also makes pitfalls come into existence because you just perpetuate something that's, like, yeah, so... well-known, even though it's, like, a, a common misconception. He broke his but hand, okay. There's other YouTubers for that. Uh, you only equip one, apparently. Oh, fuck. And the other one is, like, below the other slots in his inventory. Yeah. But, yeah, when, when I play Void, I'm, I'm not trying to fill all the time. I just talk when I feel like saying something, basically. <laughs> yeah, it was just fine, I guess. So, uh, anyway, um, I forgot that this guy could move on stream. So... Um, I don't have any physics staffs left, but you think that maybe using a fortify to heal Hector from this position would be ideal? Um, honestly, I'd be more inclined to move him like one left or two lefts and then recover with... Actually, Sarah cannot reach if he just goes there in the forest, right? She can. Okay, yeah, I just rescue drop Sarah out of there then with the recover maneuver. Yeah, I think that might be for the best. Yeah, because that gives Sarah a lot of experience. Boom. Yeah, that too. I mean, Sarah could also fortify in theory, but uh, this also heals up Hector fully, whereas I think if Sarah used fortify, she would only heal like about 20, maybe? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Awesome. Yeah, pretty good. But yeah, anyway. Too bad it's on a unit that still doesn't use stats. I've been saying this since, <laughs> since step 12. Sarah's level ups do not matter. <laughs> magic, it's nice that... Okay, no, never mind. She uses recover. I just remembered this. So her magic actually doesn't matter. I mean, maybe, maybe it would allow her to like warp Hector one extra tile. Yeah, but it takes two level ups from magic to like get an extra warp tile, and in addition, it also takes ten magic to even get above the the minimum of five tiles. Mm. Also, I should probably get the warp staff over to Hector, shouldn't I? Well, maybe not Hector, but like Sarah. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe I should get Nels up here. Maybe he's more useful over here instead of just spamming sets litany on this guy. I don't know. Uh, probably at some point you want the Sinnels to push through, yeah, but maybe you can like set set me in and rescue drop him with Kent yeah. and Jafar. Actually, Jafar already did something, I think. Maybe Nino can lift Nils, because uh, he's pretty light. Uh, I think so. Possibly. <laughs> Checking is overrated. Fuck. Nope. Oh, oh, no! Good job, he lost the turn of using Nils because you didn't check. Oh, fuck. Oh well, what can you do? Only Merlins could do it. You know, I'm so angry that Merlin is can't trade. He's a fucking trader. <laughs> <laughs> it's bullshit. 
Why can't he trade? Okay, so I don't think I have pure waters down here. Uh, so I don't think it's safe to send Hawkeye this way. He will like slowly die to these guys. You can go on a peak within like one turn. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. As long, I mean, I guess as long as I keep him out of range of the Druid, I should be fine. It's so difficult to know how far the Druid can actually move, though. Because of all the people in this uh, way. Oh. I guess he can move on to here, normally. So... I, so. I think the force is uh, one tile to fall. Yeah, on the peak, they won't hit him anyway, though, so it's fine. Then we'll oh. put uh, Raven over here. With the hand axe. I mean, as, as long as the sniper is not in range, we should all be good. Wow, since when did your unit become such wimps that they can't like handle one promoted enemy? I am just playing it really safe. I know. I just I'm I'm afraid I'm I'm afraid to restart, okay? This takes some getting used to. I'm always afraid of restarting. It's just that my lazy side always <laughs> <It> never shows. <laughs> it's just my lazy side. Ah, let's go for it. it. Tends to get the better of me. You should, in, you should insert like a, a, a conflation of like you taking super huge risks. <laughs> I mean, if I... The problem is sometimes I get very confident because I think I can't lose. That's I think that's the, where the main problem lies. Um, but but other times I don't. So it's like, I don't know. It, it kind of depends on my daily form, I guess. Anyway, let's uh, grab... I think it's safe to put Sarah here. Pretty sure. Yes, it is safe. So uh, if only there was a way to check all enemy ranges, am I right? Mm. I know a good ROM hack where you can do that. I think there's even a patch you can apply to Fire Emblem 7 that enables it, because it's in the data. Yep. It's in the game's code. Gas taught me this. Yeah. Oh, they, they didn't custom made it? It's actually in there? That's funny. Yeah, it's already in there. You can just you just have to activate it. <laughs> Damn. So they had it. Yeah, I think it was Fire Emblem 7 when they added it in, if I remember correctly. So, I don't, I don't know why they took it away. I mean, maybe they thought that it would make the game too easy. It doesn't. It doesn't look very good in my opinion. FEGBA. I won't say that much. No, it. Oh, it that, Paladin just did six damage. What the fuck? <laughs> so weak. Yeah, I think it's just Pen who has like a cape of steel. To be fair, <laughs> he is ridiculously tanky. All right. The so. map sprite does look like they're trying to shield themselves with their cape. <laughs> it does actually. Okay, so hopefully, I, I don't. I don't think there's any way for Hector to die on this turn. Actually, even if both the snipers and the mage heads, I think he's fine because he's just so tiny. I think it's so funny how no one stands still in Fire Emblem. They're always moving Ooh. around. Like, you know, gotta go to the bathroom or something. Yeah, I just realized that Hector can die if he gets like hit by everyone. I know. Uh, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> even crit. <laughs> just to make sure, like, just to tell you that he's okay. <laughs> crit. Good thing you recovered him though instead of fortify. Yeah, he would have been dead. He would have been dead. Does he double? Yes, he, he does. My, if my I hadn't been here. <laughs> You're always here, Mecca. I don't know. <laughs> True, it's like a given at this point. It's okay, I'll be released soon. This is actually pretty close to the final chapter. Yeah, once it's even the final battle, according to the game text, apparently. I mean, once we're done with Fire Emblem 6, once we're done with Fire Emblem 8, and Fire Emblem 5, no. Fire Emblem 4, and all the other Fire Emblem games, you're free to go. I have Void to upload. <laughs> oh, and Void 2. Alright. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, recover up Hector. I, I think. I'm not actually sure. I think the reinforcements just keep coming, so I'm thinking maybe oh, yeah, I, I can actually check these. Yeah, that would be nice. I'm, I'm thinking anyway. I'm thinking Farina might be able to do some nice damage if we like if we give her a pure water. Um, as long as there's like no snipers around that can hit her, we can probably like feed a lot of kills to Farina, don't you think? She's it's fine she, if there's like one sniper. It's just dealt by shield anyway. Yeah, but like I mean, like, does do much damage. I mean, she defense barrier up or whatever. I mean, defense wise mostly. No, because that's like 30 attack far and I was like what 18 defense or something it's pretty ridiculous how much she has yeah so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give her a bunch of javelins because she's much lower than Hector so she gets more out of it and we give her a oh shit that's kind of weird he promoted like 25 chapters before Hector yeah it's just actually it's only one but I just realized yeah, she oh. doesn't have any pure water left <laughs> Rip. but I guess I think Nino has pure water on her Yes, she does. Well, Nino's the purest person alive, so she probably does. <laughs> She's super pure. All right, and we'll give her... She doesn't need her. What turn are we on? We are on turn 15, so five, five more turns okay. of fun. Uh -huh. Okay, so the Cavaliers actually stopped this turn. Oh, they do? Cool. Uh, yeah. And in fact, there is no reinforcements at all until turn 20. Really? Oh. Yeah, really. Okay, that's cool. I mean, it's like, like 20 is when there's like a lot of EXP coming, but you know we can't really get them. So we gotta get the guidance chapter. I mean, I guess that means we can get Renault out of here, or just uh, I, I still want to heal Dark though. 
I was just waiting for that moment where you accidentally press fortify because this game doesn't have like a confirmation menu that F12 has where it's like, are you sure you want to spam fortify and lose like 10,000 gold? It's pretty scary. Oh, I just realized Sarah, no, she's not in No, she's not endangered. She's she's okay. The Blista actually probably saved up a shot, especially for this scenario. Oh, that would be so it's cool. If, all along. That would be like something Conquest would do. Like just save a shot on a Ballista or something. <laughs> okay, I actually don't. Sounds more like a five. Yeah. Actually, I, I think Sarah can just stay far, stay put. She's all right. All right, I'm all dump Nilsa. I'm kind of sad that we didn't get another set's limit litany, but hey, what does it matter? Do you agree that the best part of FE5 is when the bishop randomly opens the door, starts taking chests, and then puts out a meteor and starts hitting your unit? That is with it? so trolly. Like they, we, we have a bunch of prisoners. Genius. We have a bunch of prisoners with killing edges that we didn't disarm first. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I'm just gonna let these guys out now. Whoop. <laughs> Those are kind of dumb, though, because you can just negate the crits by crit with scrolls, but yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, but it's just, I mean, who I takes prisoners the without taking away their weapons? It's so dumb. Uh, I know a ROM hack where that happens in the story. It's pretty funny. It's, it, like, literally, Oswin says, like, don't take their weapons or something. Isn't that the last promise? Don't they... Um, no, it's not the last promise. Although, in the last promise, it probably happens. Yeah, I do. I, I do. do think. Mm, I'm just wondering. Yeah, I think I can attack here. I think in, in the last promise, you do definitely... There is like a story arc where everyone gets thrown in jail, but I don't remember if they take your weapons or not. I know there's like a couple jail chapters, but I believe that in every of these cases there are no weapons. Hmm. But that rom hack is oh. about the Black Fang and how they ended up. You oh might, might yes, I think I played. I don't think I played it, but it's the one with Chadwick, right? Um, uh, I think so. Yeah. He's a shaman, yeah, exactly. and and like the, you get like yes. the White Fang. Yes. And it's pretty stupid. Yeah. <laughs> she actually liked that hack, but then someone LP'd it. I think it was Mark and Joe, and it was just super critical of it. I don't, I don't, know I don't like it anymore. Oh, wow, you let Mark and Joe influence your opinions. Well, the map design is pretty shit overall. <laughs> anyway. And the story is like pretty thin justification. I didn't have very high standards of stories back then, basically. I just dealt with the bullshit by just ignoring it, pretending it didn't exist. But now I just see bullshit everywhere. It is really difficult to find decent Fire Emblem hacks. I mean, the stuff, the the, the stuff of Aegis is pretty much the only ROM hack I like at the moment. I just see plot holes everywhere. It's real. I've been, I've become so critical of everything story related and map design related. It's really hard to write something and really hard to like not fall into the same pitfalls that Fire Emblem does. Which, thankfully, the last promise falls into every single pitfall of Fire Emblem. But it's still enjoyable. <laughs> so you know, I, you know, I think that people should talk the last promise too much. We got to keep in mind that it was like one of the first ROM hacks to be finished. Oh, it's way ahead of its time when it comes to like yeah, and uh, the tools used and the uh, events made in and like it's huge. It has a post game. It's enormous. It's a really, I won't say well made because that doesn't quite describe it, but it's uh, it's just a great effort, basically. A for effort. That's that's all I have to say about the Blast Promise. Yeah, and that, that scene where, like, Kellic kills the knights with, like, Sonic theme in the background <laughs> is so good. <laughs> it's, like, so meme-worthy. With, meme with the contestants <laughs> sound in it, too. <laughs> so you gotta have out of all the F7 sounds, because you don't really have anything else to work with. And like, I like the scene where Kellic gets, like, wrecked by some random guy who teleports in and then goes out, because he no longer needs to kill him or something. <laughs> it's like... Kellic is it has, like, the same problem that FE7 story does, but like way more. Yeah, I mean, I think Bla how old was wasn't Blazer like 16 or something when he made it? I don't know. Probably. He's I, he is really young, and like for him to even make, I think he made it all on his own as well, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, he could have done his homework for school like 10 times over, but instead he chose to make an edgy <laughs> rom hack. Better respect that. Exactly. Okay, so now I need to be careful. So I think I can take a bolting. Um, if I use pure water, I prefer it, you can take one bolting. Yeah, as long as I and I this guy does 33 damage. If I if I do a pure water right now, I, I'm taking zero damage from all the shamans, and I'm taking like uh, nine. eight nine damage from both of the druids. That's 18, and then Earth. Uh, I can I always confuse <laughs> the fucking names of the fucking warps. Uh, Limstella does 12 plus 26. Wow, that's a lot. 38. She, you can just check her attack values. She does 31. Wow, sick. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I guess I could, like, balance on the edge of her boltings. Like, I could place, like, Farina here. That will work. Yeah, but it doesn't really help to put her in range if you also have Hector in range, I think. I was thinking, about, I was thinking anyway. about not having Hector in range. Okay, then it makes sense. Or, I think they might go for her anyway, because I think... I think I, I, well, some of them 
detect her. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, it would be nice because she is the lowest, one of the lowest levels, so she gets slightly more XP from killing all the shamans. I just want to, you know, get a bit more XP. She is pretty low, but I guess she was one of the least useful units to send at time. Yeah. She was stuck in a corner, I think, and she's not very good against the enemies there, so that's why she's kind of low level. All right, so now I need to warp Kent's yeah. little boss. I'm going to give. Fortify. I think I'm going to give the warp stuff over to over to Kent's and have him ferry it. Can even good luck with these forests. I'm not going to purge. I think I'm going to save my purge. It might come in handy. Some. Yeah. And then I'm going to give the warp over to Sarah. I think. Um, but... Oh, person for me. <laughs> yeah, your Sarah voice is amazing. It's spectacular. You amaze me, Mecca. I know. Sarah's voice is not very hard. Very hard. La, 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 you la, la, just try la. to kill your. You just try your best to kill your voice, and that will that will be Sarah. God, like the Nurgal. Every like dark villain voice I do like always kills my voice so badly. All right, so I think I don't think we warp Hector this turn. I think we warp him next turn possibly. Well, they'll just take fire away from fire now if you warp him this turn. Yeah. So, however, we do need to kill the sniper. So I think uh, Hawkeye is probably the low. Hawkeye is the lowest level guy on our group. Wonderful. Go bigger. I mean, he hasn't been fielded in quite a bit. Okay, never mind. I don't think he was the size of time. Guess, guess it's Raven then. There we go. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's uh, he's gotten decent. He's what is his base level like four? I think. Yeah. He's, he's decent. He's been around, but you not feeling someone the size of time can really put them behind because the Chapter has so much XP. Hmm. No one to. Don't no one. To knee. Yeah, it's just I don't have anyone to heal. It annoys me. Actually, I do have someone to heal, Priscilla. Maybe I can. Uh... Uh, I guess. Re I guess recover plus. Dance plus recover gives more XP than sets the knee. I think so, um, but I can't and because of the movement cost. I don't think I can get Sarah to Priscilla this turn. So I guess I'll just sit, no. I, I'll just set Slithany anyway. Slithany. Set Slithany. I but I do want Sarah. I wouldn't want Sarah to be close to Hector though. Um, but I guess like Sarah wants to be close to Hector. Yeah, she. They don't have a support though. Sadly, I guess. Um, they do. It just takes 81 turns to trigger the C support. They have a support? Yes. I was not aware of this. Sarah supports like everyone from Ostia, dude. I don't... Oswin, Matthew, Hector. I do not remember this support. At all. Sarah supports like a bunch of good units and they're all really slow supports. <laughs> Pretty telling, actually. All right. Well, Nobody wants to be near her, but she <laughs> tries to get with everyone. All right. Well, we'll it's do... actually really well done. We'll do... it, at least I hope it was intentional, but it seems like it is. I I'd imagine that, yeah, that like... You can you only support with Sarah if you're like forced to be close to her. Yeah, she supports Florina and Hector and Oswin and Matthew and hmm. let's see who else. It was like at least one more. She supports oh Urk of course. Oh shit, forgot about these guys. Oh well, guess we'll heal. Pent actually needs to be a little bit careful. Like he could get chipped down. Yep. These guys have. Oh, these dudes don't have. These shamans don't have Luna. Oh, I don't think they do. I forgot nice to choke pointing guys. Forgot to check. I do got to be careful. I don't want to put Pent in range of uh, Limstella because she could nope. she could actually kill him from here. I think. Yeah, there we go. It worked. My plan worked. Nice. Well, only because the knights are in the way. Yeah, my my knights did well. <laughs> I don't see them green. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right, there we go. I think she should be able to kill almost everyone except for like the druid. Um, and I think, actually, Hector will be probably able to, like, one-round Limstella, I think, if I warp. <laughs> no way. You don't think so? No, Limstella has 21 defense and a throne, or the gate, actually. But, uh, she has the bolting, so he'll double her. If I give her, like, a killer axe or something? Yeah, but... Um, I mean, let's say your Hector has 40 attack, which is, like, a generous estimate, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you attack someone with, like, 25 defense twice, that's still, like, 15 damage times 2, and them still has 70 HP. Yeah, I guess... I guess uh, Jafar, I could try to rig a silencer. Not rig, but, like, ho go for a silencer. I I think that silencer rate is halved on bosses. Maybe not all bosses. I thought it was, on, thought it was only against like, Nurgle and Fire Dragon. Possibly. That's what the wiki says, but the wiki always sucks, so I don't know. Anyway, let's see how far Sarah can actually warp. Five turns? That's that's decent. Um, I guess it's, it's just five. That's the minimum. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we can take, like, a couple of boltings. Um, we need to take one, I think. So, but I, I do wonder, maybe I should wait one more turn? I mean, we're turn 17, and you said there wouldn't be well, a... It's actually getting cr pretty close. Yeah. We need to hurry a little bit. Because Nemstella can take a couple turns to kill. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. Maybe if she's using boltings, you won't be able to attack her on enemy Three, phase. So it, it has four, to be player phase, but there's five, only six, so many spots seven, to attack her eight, from. Nine, I'm, I'm considering just placing Luis on the edge of her bolting range because she might actually go for Luis and Luis can, like, Luis can survive it and then Pen can mm -hmm. just heal. So I was thinking about. Well, depends who else you put in range. Um. Uh, hmm. Because, like, she has giant resistance, so. I think she'll go for far now over Louise, but it's worth a try, I guess. Yeah, so maybe I should just start warping people across the river now? Uh, I wouldn't start warping everyone, but the Jafar seems pretty good. Jafar is good. Although he does attack like, a lot of Druid fire, so maybe kill everything that's like there. And then warp Maybe warp turn. Hector with, uh, with the hand axe. I could warp Hector. I could I could give him like Ninin's Grace to ensure he won't die. Oh yeah, that's good. There we go. I think he wanted kills shamans, so the fact that he has like five uses left shouldn't matter that much. Yeah, I should I should try to give him a um I should try to give him Fresh a one. a hand axe though. Uh, I think if you put Murnus next to Kent and then Kent takes it out and then trades it to Hector, that way it works. Yeah, I think you can take out and then Yeah. He just needs one. Okay, nice. <laughs> just need one. That's oh. that's the, what I had left conveniently. Alright, time to work. Whoop. Yeah. Da, 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 and then you da. can see next turn whether you need to warp more people or not. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna help Lord Hector! And warps him into a bunch <laughs> of enemy mages, like Sarah being useful. <laughs> Here we go, magic resistance. And I think uh, we'll just let... Uh, maybe we'll put him in the forests, just for avoidance purposes. Like so. Why would you kill the... Uh, I guess, He's the yes. scariest guy, and I... I don't know, I just don't, yeah. I just don't like druids, because they remind me of Luna guy. Oh, nice! Ah! Um, <laughs> one more point of speed! He's actually gonna make it. One more point of speed! Okay, so I'll put Jafar here in, like, um, warping range. He should be able to get closer. Face here. And, uh, we'll move Guy in as well. I, I, I just want to kill these guys right now. I, I, feel, I feel like we need to clear out the enemies, because we, we, I don't want to fail this, like, requirement. There we go. I think if there's one person you want to get close to Limstella, it's Louise, because there's only one person who can attack her from uh, one range, but Louise can do it from far. Yeah, I also just realized I think I may have placed Raven in a range of Limstella. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yup, I sure did. That's fine, isn't it? Is he weakened? Uh, no, I guess. But he can be hit by these guys. And like if they hit if they hit, you, yeah. you know how Fire Emblem is like. Especially, uh, I know how you playing Fire Emblem is like. <laughs> yeah, you've been watching quite a lot of it. If you didn't know at this point, there'd be something wrong with you, I think. Anyway, let's go and kill this guy with dart. Uh... Well, raising him like a pig for slaughter. He was just finished, dude. He just <laughs> he's done. just been standing on the forward all this time. He's like, oh, finally. Uh... It's finally my time to shine. Maybe I should give Sarah let's the fortify stuff just for experience. Sure, I wouldn't really recommend using it. No. For 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 funds. I'm so scared for the funds rank, dude. Oh shit! I just realized Sarah's in range, but I also think don't think they can do damage to her. Twenty two damage. She has eleven. Ah. Uh... She can take one. Yeah, she can take one. She doesn't get doubled, so I think it's... Ah, I could I could always just move in with Farina, but no, she. I don't I don't find I can move, put Farina here. Why not? Yeah, just put it there. Yeah. She's still out of range with the bolting. So. Yeah. Remember when you were thinking that you might be able to promote Sarah this playthrough? I mean, I can, if I want to. Oh, right, she's, she's at the right level. So just, yeah. I will take your life and your essence. All for the sake of my master! Then she misses. Nice. But, nice try. But yeah, I can actually... Try. I can move Luis and then shoot her with the ballista. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't do any damage, but I can do it. Uh -huh. Okay, they just go for Hawkeye, I guess. Oh, well. Because he doesn't have barrier. Yep. Or in this case. I actually don't know. Hector's not in range of uh, Limstella, but she has like four boltings left, so it should be fine. I could also warp someone up and like drop them over the river, and pretty sure I'll be able to kill her next turn. I see you counted bolting these. Good job. Yeah, I'm good. Counted all of one bolting these. Uh, I should probably like give him a killer axe, don't you think? Yes, something good. Killer weapons are usually best against morphs, so. All right, we'll move Luis Why? because they have low luck. Most yeah, mo so boss, bosses enemy. in Fire Emblem 7 have luck. Oh, I guess. Not generics, but so bosses. Bosses, I guess. Bosses have. Alright, we'll move okay, Luis fine. in here, and uh, I think we'll warp. You think it's okay to warp, like, for XP? Yeah, but I wouldn't. Um, I can have Murr. need to... Actually, I don't, I don't know how long you're gonna take next chapter. Uh, 
If you can warp skip, or you can take the long way and get more XP. Mm, I think we can. So we can. We want the treasure for next chapter at least. Yeah, fuck it. We'll use it. We have. We haven't used a single use for her and stuff. We can warp for just for her murning, just to get free XP. Yeah, I guess. But then uh, you cut into the benefits you get from her But I guess you do have three uses of it. So you're gonna repair brave axe, brave lance, and warp. Then I guess. Yeah. So I. I don't. Okay. So do I want to attack her this turn? Yeah, but you also want to make sure that there's like a really tempting bolting target for her then. Yeah, because she might actually go for Jafar. I yeah, think I don't think she will, but just in case. Yeah. So I, I would attack with Jafar. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll attack with Jafar. I mean, he might get a silencer. Yeah. It's a Manx LP after all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> really? No way. No. This is impossible. I am not human. This body and this heart are constructs. Yes, as this is Sora. As is this LP. So she feels a little bit of Sora at the end. I always thought that was funny. Look at that! Uh, it, oh my god. <laughs> How lucky. Very lucky. So I guess... Wow, complaining about luck after getting a silencer. <laughs> really. So, uh, do you think I should just cease to get turns, or do you think I should, like, dance and heal and stuff? Um, well, I would get, like, a dance this turn, of course. Uh, just cease. Yeah. Because every turn in, like... Okay, so let's say you spend two turns. You can get way more EXP out of a turn in the next chapter. That is true. That is true. I don't. I think you calculated that we're like doing pretty well in terms of EXP, but that yeah, I think at some point I said you had a hundred turns, and so you've probably used at most. I'll still, I still use recover though. Yeah, that's fine. I got so many. The, the EXP requirement is pretty steep, but you did raise uh, Gi quite a bit as well as Dart and Kens. Yeah, or a little bit. And might as well break this stuff as well. So we're gonna check the ranking then. Yes, we are. After the voice acting, of course. Here we go. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Bye. Have fun. Goodbye. Have fun. Take I am muting Discord. Bye. Turn 18. Oh, right. We can't season this turn. We're going to get one anyway. Because Hector moved. <laughs> so. Oh, Mecha actually did mute himself. That's funny. All right. I guess I'm doing this solo then. Oh, that's right. Dart can, Dart can kill the knight. Yes, you, you come back now, Mecha. It's, it's not funny anymore. Okay. Okay. I uh, I also want to turn on turn on lights, so this was like my excuse, oh. my funny excuse. Oh. Okay. Mecha was funny. How funny. Okay. So I think mm -hmm. uh, we'll attack with the killer X this turn because we're gonna cease. So he might kill. No, wait, he won't. <laughs> Even if you get the luckiest crit ever, you still won't kill here. Well, it's a unless Dart suddenly funny. got silencer, then uh, <laughs> I will eat my words. That would be funny. All right. I'm going to set Slithany. There is a berserker in. Um... Um, what's it called? The Last Promise that has uh, lethality really? as a skill. Yeah. Really? And it, like, it doesn't really matter much for killing because like a Berserker crit will kill anything, but it gets him double XP. It's really good. Oh, like as a playable character, he has Silencer. Yes. Wow. Yes. Blazer actually managed to hack in skills, and that's kind of funny. Huh. Well, I mean, you just put Silencer. Silence is already in the game. It's pretty easy to sign it to other classes. It's like lockpick skills and shit. Oh, I didn't know. I mean, uh, when Daton was helping with the PME, he was always like, oh, I finally learned how to do custom skills in Fire Emblem Main, and I thought that was kind of cool, but I, I guess... I mean, custom skills are hard, but this skill is already there. Alright. Turn 19. Perfect. Let's go. Ba -ba -ba. I actually forgot to check if we got all the villages, but I think we did. <laughs> that was a heated battle. Elliot, you weren't even part of it. I guess I guess he observed from the bench. I thought it was going to go on forever. Phew. It's not finished yet. Earl is waiting at the Dragon's Gate. Yeah, guy. Well, this was the final battle. He might pay. Before we go to the Dragon's Gate, Nils, if you don't mind, would you share your story with us? Huh? Uh, I won't force you to if you don't want to. Okay, I tell you. Da, 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 da. I want you all to know about me and Yin Yang. Joy time I mean, with me. Oh, I. Take to your death, I will welcome both. I just realized I have to do this entire thing in Nils' voice. <laughs> I'm Yin Yang Yom Ago. Man chase young and kind from the land. Excited. We had no place to go, not on this world. So we used the Dragon's Gate to flee into another world. When we passed through this chasm in space and time, many of us were lost. Still, we enjoyed the journey. We found humans there too, but they were few in number. We had a few skirmishes, but at last we found a home. Oh, look at the ice dragons. We were stable there, happy even. But some thought back on our former home, and when we did, his voice reached out to us. Ninian was a medium in the other world, and other kind of sorts. She sat at the dragon's shrine. She had much power. We were in the prayer at the shrine when it happened. We heard a voice calling us from the dragon's gate. It was the voice of an old friend. 
We knew we weren't supposed to open the gate and return to this world. We had no idea that the owner of that voice was Nergal. Nergal. As I just repeat the last thing you said for dramatic effect. But something unexpected happened. When we opened the dragon's gate and traveled here again, we had lost so much all of our strength. The quintessence left within us was even less than that of an average human. In order to sustain ourselves in order to breathe the air of this world, we took human form. We placed our enemies within the dragon's throne. But our dragon's throne was taken! Stolen! Now I'll hope to use it as a tool to summon other dragons. Until we escaped. We couldn't let our foolishness condemn our friends. What are those hands reaching out for them? I never quite understood this. I think it's just a really cool artistic interpretation of Nurgle and trying to get to them. Oh. Disguised as a dancer and a bard, we fled and wandered from country to country. That's when we first made Lady, Lady Lindis one year ago. That whole time Nurgle was after you! Why didn't you tell me? You were. It's like a dude in like 7X that actually mentions Nurgle. Oh. So Lindis wasn't paying attention, I guess. You were so good to us. We didn't want to cause you any trouble. After we left Luna Kaelin, we were captured again. We decided that the only way to escape was to cut short our own lives. That was when we met Lord Elbert. He was so strong, so kind. He knew that we were he knew what we were and what we had done, and he never once condemned us. On the contrary, he tried to set us at ease with stories, stories of his family, of his homeland. Ninin and I, we listened to his stories and grew to love his gentle wife and his son. Primonotion. Or whatever the fuck that is. No. Premonition. Oh, premonition. No, that's too strong of a word, but we felt his son would be the one to save us. That's what we felt. Can't they see the future? That's why. That's why they you would. So much emotion in your voice acting. So truly, truly, truly devastating to listen to. Oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally did Kashuna's voice. I'm sorry. Oh. I believe in you. Even though Ninja is gone, I will continue to protect you. I have to. That's what. That's Ninin's wish. It's our wish. Let's stop Nergal. You're the only one who can do it. Nils. You can do it. But <laughs> don't give up yet. Let's do it, Elliewood. <laughs> He's right. It's too early to give up. I mean, we're still here. We're still alive. Somehow. Everyone. You're right. My friends are here with me. Since, since when did you become the main character? There's no power on this earth stronger than that. Let's go. The Dragon's Gate away. That's where we'll shatter Nergal's ambitions. But first, yeah, we're too lazy to rewrite this for like extra mode, I guess. Yeah, he should have it. <laughs> but first, side quest. The yes. Saving the world can wait. All right, so let's go check our, our rankings before we end this. It's gonna be fun. Oh, let's go. Are you are you are you prepared? No, are you prepared? Get the best are you prepared for voice act the next chapter, my guy? It's gonna be good. All right. <laughs> yep, I'm prepared. <laughs> let's see how this goes. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> What the hell happened? <laughs> Four star <laughs> tactics? No. <laughs> How? What did you do? I mean, it, it might have been the water. <laughs> it might have been my like twenty turns at the water temple that did it. <laughs> but that's been a while. Yeah, we've been pretty quick it's ever since. I don't know. I wow. That's. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, oh that's not good. I mean, we might... You amaze me, game. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, okay. Well, uh, let's see if we can rectify that next chapter. Uh, what should they do, Mecca? <laughs> like, subscribe, and rectify. Yeah, oh boy. Guess we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.